Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the J Gemini. Appreciate you taking time to click on the video. Wanted to make a quick video, easy to absorb, um, especially with everything going on right now, the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, a lot of us are in quarantine. A lot of us have also ended up probably spending a little bit of money trying to gather some supplies so you can have some with the craziness going on. So today I actually wanted to t um, bring you something that I'm super excited about. A clip that we've maybe even seen a hundred times or probably as the title of the video is going to say the clip you haven't even heard about um, but you probably have actually seen this before and just skimmed over it um, so today i'm actually going to talk about this deep carry clip now the official name i'm not sure i've actually heard to it referred as the uncle henry's deep carry pocket clip basically it's a spyderco pocket clip that is um, sold on eBay. Um, very similar, as you can see, almost a dead ringer to the uh, sort of OG Lynch clip that is made. So because of that, a lot of us would probably end up looking at the clip, instantly going ahead and saying, hey, you know what? I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to buy the real thing. But hold on. Throughout uh, going ahead and buying this and using it, I've actually found that this is probably my favorite spider coat clip, and I'm gonna end up going in and telling you why. So let me go on and jump right in. First thing, even though this clip has a pretty good price of uh, f about $14, $13, you can get some blemished ones. I think you can get like two for 18, which is pretty dang good. Um, it's actually made in the United States. It's made out of titanium. Um, and, you know, usually when you end up buying stuff like this, knockoff of stuff, right? If you want to call it a knockoff, I'd like to call it an improvement or a smart decision, value proposition, whatever you want to say. But um, basically, it's made really well. It's made in the United States. It's made by one guy, most likely, um, this Uncle Henry. I'll leave a, you know, link down in the description of who I'm going ahead and buying this from. Like I said, price is $14. Um, the other thing is, is the fit and finish on here actually pretty darn good. Um, some of the other clips end up going in and finding that they're a little too polished or a little bit too stone washed and maybe a little too dark. Cool thing about this is it really goes, even though it's supposed to be stone washed, and it is slightly, um, it is sort of satin, but really, really goes good with the blade on your pair of three here. So I really, really like uh, the way the clip actually looks. Also has a little bit bigger hole than your um, Lynch clip and your MXG gear is probably about the same size. So I like it, it's easy to get your finger in there, you know, pull it out if you like it that way. Also, as far as the finish, this does come in some different colors. There's a blue anodized, bronze anodized, and I think you can even get these in some new patterns, um, such as like a tiger stripe, black and white, and you know, Damascus look type thing. Um, main thing that's really important here, other than liking the way that it looks, is uh, really the ergos and thinness of this pocket clip. And that is what really, really goes ahead and sets this apart. So I've actually had the Lynch clip and I've had some materials from other clips, not on a spider coat, but uh, Kershaw and such from MXG and their clips are usually a little bit thicker. The um, clip on the Lynch clip sticks off about that far off the knife. The thing that really sets this apart and really takes and puts it at the top of all the different um, pocket clips that I've ended up finding is its thinness. So if you look here, I'm not trying to get into the viewfinder here. This is extremely thin usually you would end up going ahead and adding another eighth of an inch um, on top here if you were talking about the Lynch clip. But on here, it's extremely thin. And what this does is, is when I put it in my hand, and of course you can't see anything, but just take my word for it, that it's basically perfect. It actually ends up going ahead and making it where um, it perfectly fits the swell of your hand. This is sort of flattened out too, better than the regular stock spider code clip, which a lot of people don't like anyways. Um, basically fills the hand really nice, no hot spots at all, almost makes it where you don't feel it. It just sort of molds into there, it doesn't give you anything extra. The other thing is, um, even though it's not like a true flush 
hide away deep carry. I actually like it like this. You can put a lanyard on there. I don't think you have any sort of problems, even if you didn't gut it. Um, to be and it also sticks out just like this. So you're able to pull, get your finger actually on here if you want to, instead of you just touching all clip when you're going ahead and fishing it out of your pocket. One of the biggest surprises though about this clip is actually the tension. So the um, T10 on Spyderco, PM2, PM3, um, you know, your other ones, they, uh, they're they pretty rough and they've actually eaten up my, um, they've eaten up my pants, my jean pockets pretty good. Cool thing about this is, is that unlike the lynch clip, which is so aggressively bent, it pushes down even harder than the standard clip or just as hard as the standard uh, Spyderco clip. This one is perfectly tuned. Basically what it does is it enables you to very easily, if I can try to demonstrate here, very easily put it, um, put it in the pocket and pull it out without really going ahead and affecting that did nothing <laughs> just take my word for it it is perfect easy to fly it in and out of the pocket but i've ran and jumped and done everything like that and it hasn't flown out or had any sort of issues i didn't want to make this video extremely long or too complex um but honestly you know for the price the air goes the fit the finish the way it looks perfect on the knife um in my opinion, USA made. I mean, you just can't beat this. And, you know, I just wanted to make a video about it because honestly, it's one that I skipped over so many times. And if I didn't see a fellow YouTuber actually, you know, suggest and review it, I wanted to check it out myself. And I wanted to bring it to you on this platform. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you find it useful. Comment below. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel as I'm trying to produce more and more content. I actually shot this off of a bipod here on this video, as you can see. I'm trying to go ahead and up my production a little bit better. Um, so please give a like, subscribe, and I love to comment just to see what you guys think. Definitely everybody stay safe. Go ahead and get through this, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care.